morning, YouTube. This is my daughter, Cat. She's uh, opening this box that probably has an RC car in it. Big ass box, and I thought, Oh, my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> so they have a tiny box and a big ass one. Yeah, well, show the box that came in at the top. Yeah, looky there. Okay, so, this is the uh, by Legendary. So far as I know, they make three cars. Um, there's one other, the other one over there is the Legendary car on the, on the right. That's the red and white one, and uh, it's built like the Zingling Hong 9125. Except it has oil fill shocks, which you can get for you can upgrade 9125. But either way, Legendary makes a Triton. This car, uh, the Legendary uh, truck over there, I believe that's what it's called, the Legendary truck, made by Legendary. And uh, they have one other one, I can't remember the name right now. Anyways, I've been looking at this Triton for a while. It's a 120 scale, which obviously is pretty small with the size of the box. And, uh, I happen to like the legendary products. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They make the Sonic. It's the, uh, the yellow bumblebee in there. Could you grab it for me? So I'm pretty sure these are the only three cars they they make. They that, that was like a year ago when I saw that. So I've been looking at this train for a while now. This Sonic right here is pretty bad. I'll tell you right now. It goes through mud. You can you could sink it in water if you wanted to, not to mention it has a lot of power. Now, top speed, obviously not the you know, fastest thing in the whole world, but then again, you can't really crash it and break it, but at the same time, a lot of grunt, so she burns out and wheelies and all that good stuff, and that's what you're probably going to get out of this little Triton here. Same thing. The other one's just a bigger version as well. The, the, the Zingli Hong and the legendary cars, they're very smooth when you operate them. Smooth operators. So I just can't go ahead and open that up. What's in the box? thing about Legendary and Zingling Hong is that they come with these uh, double adapters, especially the Legendary ones. And what that is, you can hook two 2S LiPos up for double the MAH for the longer running time. It puts more weight in the car, and these little cars, they, they you need to pay attention to that if you're doing jumps and stuff like that. This one get about four or five feet. This one get about, maybe, I don't know, pretty good. Every time I drive that. Everybody's like, wow, and I got cars that, you know, do 50 feet jumps. But, uh, yeah, so go ahead, let's take this out, take a look. Well, she looks pretty, that's for sure. What do you think, Kat? It's good, it kind of reminds me either a chameleon or grasshopper. grasshopper. Right. What the fuck is the size of it? <laughs> Probably likes it, huh? 
Yeah, a cool little rascal. Like the thing is this, it's just yeah. tiny. Just a bit yeah. smaller. I think we can get the rest of it. Hi. The remote here is just simple remote. It's got the throttle trim, steering trim. Uh, and again, it's like the Zingli Hong and a lot of the uh, those type products. I think I might need to get a dress for this one. Alright, let me see what I can't find for you. Uh, say I uh, took my Zingli on and I put a 3S in it and it burnt out the diffs in it and I had to uh, fix that so the diffs in the in the in the Zingli Hong or I guess Hosey but I think it's just Zingli Hong I think they're two different companies I can't remember if they're same or different but either way uh, I put a 3S in it and like I said from going because it doesn't have a like most uh, pro cars you Put them in reverse. They stop when you when you pull up. Well, they break when you go back in the opposite direction. Instead of just taking off and like shooting forward or shooting backwards, going back and forth real fast. And I did that a few times, going back and forth, trying to do wheelies with, and with the three S. Not trying, but doing wheelies with three S. That uh, the diffs just burned out because the diffs and the Zingli Hongs. I'm not sure about these ones, even though they that one's built exactly the same. Just about the chassis is a little bit different in the center. Everything else is about the same, yeah. Like I said, very smooth. They, these ones have six shocks. This one is oil filled shocks. I haven't changed the oil in it yet. I probably will. Pretty good, though. And it, like I said, it just comes with the. Uh, with the uh, so you can put a couple of batteries in there. It's always a tight fit, but you can get it to work. Uh, the type batteries that come with it. If it's not already in the car. Yes, thank you. And this trick right here I really like a lot. I kind of wish I'd gotten the red one by, I'm not disappointed. I put the 3S in it, like I said, I burnt out the diffs and I had to fix those. Ordered some new diffs, but I never did actually. All I did was just reverse them. Put the front diff in the front, the middle of the back. And been running fine ever since. Um, so yeah, and if, as you take a look at this, basically the same. Everything the same. 60 amp, 60. You know, everything's basically the same. These aren't oil filled. They're springed, but you can buy oil filled. Put them on there. They're basically the same thing. You know, I even like the red wheels there. So. They also make a 9145, which is. I believe it's this size here is exactly up of this and those are pretty uh, decent as well from what I understand. I've been looking at that for a while too. So yeah you put your double batteries in there. Uh, I get a lot of praise with this car. I, I don't know if it's the body or what but I mean these guys are so much alike that you can, I'm pretty sure if I recall, you can 